Hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Yay. Hooray. We love fire dragons. Oh, that's fishing. Oh, hello, fishing. Hi, fishing fools. We had a name change. Ooh. Fire dragons is a nice gift. I like them too. I'm screaming. Um, happy Sunday, happy Sunday for three days. I love dragons. I know. I love a good fire dragon. Who doesn't? I'm going to wait for a few people to get in here. We can start. It's self-care Sunday. Hooray. All right, let's uh let's get into it because we we have I, I was a little late. Excuse my tardiness. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday to everybody out there. Hello, hello, hello. Um today's show. Let me let me get my let me get my brain together. You are early. <laughs> Not too much on me. Welcome to Self Care Sundays. I am your host, Twix. Um, I have two amazing guests on the show today. So we're super excited for that. Um, hello, hello, Cloud, hello. Um, yeah, I have two amazing guests on the show today. I have Fishing Fools and I also have Butter on the show. I'm super excited to have them here with me today. Uh, we're gonna get right into the show. This is a show, it is being pre-recorded. So, uh, excuse me, it's not being pre-recorded, it's being recorded right now. Um, what does that mean? That means that only guests who are have already been scheduled for the show can be request the box and it also means there will be absolutely no cursing or trolling in today's stream if you troll you will be removed so keep that keep it cute in the comments um and my self-care is uh my skin care i love 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 my skin i love being able to take care of my skin i like to do that for myself once a week whether it's going to a, a spa or doing an at-home facial that is just something i truly truly enjoy doing um so that is what i like to do here live on my stream with you guys today um so we will be doing that as well as uh, talking to our guests today and just really kind of getting into what self-care is for them and for you. Um, so if you guys can run up the comments with any kind of questions, every single gift is appreciated. I appreciate each and every single one of you being here all, every Sunday and we get the show started. Um, today though, I wanted to talk about something before we start, before we start with our first guest, before I start my skincare regimen. I, if you know me, you know I am a huge hygiene freak. I love all things skincare, all things hygiene. That's what we talk about here, right? Um, so I have been battling myself with plaque. I've been, I've had a lot of issues with plaque. I fight constantly with my teeth because I need my teeth to be extremely white. I, there's no other thing, there's no other ifs, ands, or uh, uh, commas about it. My teeth need to be white at all times. I do engage in a lot of things that do stain my teeth, which is like whether, whether it's drinking wine, drinking coffee, smoking, I definitely engage in all of those activities. So I've had a very strong battle with the, the cleanliness and the whiteness of my teeth as an adult because I engage in a lot of things that will stain my teeth. So if you have uh, issues with, you know, um, with uh, plaque and also keeping your teeth white, right? Because a lot of people do have yellow or yellow stained teeth. Um, here are a few hacks that I have learned to help me, especially recently. It's been so amazing, honestly. Um, three hacks that have really changed my life and I'm super excited to talk about it with you guys today. Butter, thank you. Um, so again, if you're just now getting here, this is Self Care Sundays with me, Twix. I am your host, Twix. And we're just gonna get into it. Um, so like I said, I've been battling with uh, plaque and um, I don't like going to the dentist. It's one, it's really expensive. Two, I don't have insurance. So it's actually really expensive to pay out of pocket if you don't have insurance. And then also two, it is very, uh, it can be very damaging to your enamel, which is I've already learned recently that my enamel is extremely dam da uh, damaged, which is why I have very sensitive teeth. So now, 
I, it just started too. Like it really just started recently with the sensitive teeth. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. So I've had to back off the normal toothpaste I use. I used to use Arm and, Har Arm, la, la, la. Arm and Hammer, the um, the whitening toothpaste. I used to use that. I used to use Crest. I used to use Colgate. Anything that just had like a lot of whitening in it. But I think the year, the constant years, and then lately I was really using the Crest white strips, which I will still recommend Crest white strips, honestly. But the thing about that is I really feel like it really recently just made my teeth extremely sensitive. So I can't use those products anymore. Like they, they hurt my teeth. My teeth, they just, you can't take it anymore as much. So I've been Googling, researching a lot of holistic ways to still maintain white teeth and still maintain like cleanliness and also really attack the plaque issue. Because I, like I said, I've been having plaque kind of attack the bottom row of my teeth. So Three things I found that are really, really good, really holistic. Um, two of them I don't have here. I'm not sure why I didn't bring my coconut oil, but um, the first thing is oak coconut pulling. Coconut pulling is one of the best ways to whiten your teeth without damage, damaging your teeth or your enamel. I love to coconut pull. Now, it wasn't something that I really enjoyed before because I figured I'll just use white, white, um, I use white crush strips because they're so much more effective, like, you know, but because my teeth are so sensitive now, I cannot use the West Cre the Crest white strips anymore. So coconut pulling is now my go-to, right? Coconut pulling is so good. It's so easy on um, your teeth and like, it's just so easy. It, it's kind of gross. It's kind of gross, but like, it's also really, really good for your teeth and it's really healthy for you. It's also really healthy for your gums you know, to really doing the coconut pulling. So I really, um, I love coconut pulling. That's my new thing. Also, every adult should invest in one of these. Yes, mine is a little dirty, not too much. Every adult should invest in one of these. This is a called a water pick, okay? If you don't have this as an adult, then I already know what that says about your hygiene, okay? Every adult, even kids, but honestly adults, definitely need to invest in a water pick. I got hip and I'm not even going to talk mess because I recently got hip to the water pick maybe about six months ago, maybe, maybe it's been maybe about a year now, but like, no, I think it's been about six months to about a year, maybe. So I got hip to, to the water pick last year. And honestly, it's changed my life. Um, uh, I don't floss as much anymore. I don't really need to. This thing is so powerful. Um, I use it in the shower personally because it does get really messy if you don't. Um, so yeah, the water pick is definitely something that needs to be added to your um, hygiene, your 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 uh, teeth. Uh, what's the word? Uh, <laughs> the the maintenance of your teeth. If you don't have one of these bad boys, you definitely need to get one. Um, and then the third thing is a scrub that I recently came across. And the scrub is um, a homemade scrub that I made. It is a mixture, a combination of instant coffee, toothpaste, and olive oil. When I tell you that the water pick and this scrub that I use on my teeth have changed the plaque in the or the plaque accumulation. <gasps> Hooray! We got a subscriber get into it okay big big self-care sunday subscriber we love to see it hooray 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 um so the the coffee scrub mixture mixed with the water pick and the uh and the coconut pulling have been a game changer in my mouth pause they have been a game changer if you are battling i will repeat it if you are battling plaque if you are battling the colorness of your teeth and trying really trying to focus on how to whiten your teeth naturally. This is a very natural, there are tons of different ways to whiten your teeth naturally. I mean, to whiten your teeth. This is a very natural way because like I said, I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of sensitivity on my, on my teeth. So I've really been trying to uh, find different ways to whiten my teeth and get a, get rid of the plaque without having to do too much damage, too much more damage to my mouth. So Coconut pulling will definitely be my go-to always. The water pick is definitely my go-to and this 
coffee, toothpaste, and olive oil scrub has changed my life. As you can see, my teeth are white. They're definitely not as light as they used to be, but they're definitely still white. And I'm going to continue with um, this uh, regimen and update you guys again uh, shortly and let you know how it's been working for me. You guys, if you're now just tuning in, this is Self Care Sundays with me, Twix. I just went over my teeth, my teeth care regimen. It's my new holistic teeth care regimen. Um, I love it. I've, I'm honestly wowed by it because I never thought that na uh, natural products could really bring as much um, cleanliness and whiteness to my teeth as much as as they have been. So I love that. Um, so I'm excited to see how my teeth journey goes along. And um, I'm just excited. I, you guys know anything that has to do with hygiene, cleanliness of your body, your face, your mouth, your hair, I'm all for it. So shout out to that. I'm so, so happy that I found that because now I can drink my coffee in peace without worrying about how I'm gonna whiten my teeth. Um, we're gonna bring our two guests on the show. Um, if they are available and ready, I'm going to start my self-care regimen. This I am Twix, this is my show, Self-Care Sundays. We do this every Sunday at 3 p.m. If you would like to be a guest on the show, hit me up, hit Emoji J up, hit Jazzy Got Options up. We would love to have you as a guest. We're always looking for new guests for the show. Um, I'm not sure if any of my guests are still in the building. If they are, please request the box. I'm going to go and show you guys my self-care regimen and what we got going on today. As you already know, I've washed my face off stream. I get a lot of questions in my DM, so we're going to go over this really, really quickly. Just so in case you're here, you still have the questions, we can go through it. I wash my face off stream with a very soft uh, face cleansing comb. It's by it's Maruka Honey El Elixir. It's by Belind Belindia. Um, it's for dry and sensitive skin. So I love this because it's really purifying, extra mo moisturizing. You guys already know I am a fan of anything that has honey in it. It's very, very smooth and soft on the face. I love it. So it's a very safe, very uh, um, pure like cleansing foam, which is now my new thing. I love foams. So I use that and how I, I use that and I wash it off or scrub it off with my rubber face scrubber. This thing is so essential and it's so nice. I love it. It's so soft to the skin, but it's a definitely an added uh, scrub that you need instead of just using like a face towel, which I know a lot of people use. I also use a face towel, but this kind of just uh, allows for that facial wash to just get in there and take out a lot of that first original like the first uh uh dirt grime anything that's just kind of sitting on your face you already know that i'm going to go in with a deep pore cleanser this is a skincare regimen so we're not just washing our face we are getting all of that blackhead whitehead we're getting all that refuse out of our skin and our pores so i'm going to go in with my sugar face scrub it is a brightening scrub by tree hut and has pineapple, papaya, and aha in it. I love this face scrub. As you can see, it's almost gone. I've been using this faithfully. I know it's helping. I know it's helping shed me of that first layer of dermis, which is dead skin. So I am super excited to be taking off, I mean, taking off that layer with this scrub. It's been so amazing. I love it so much. How do I take off that first layer of dead skin? I use my ultrasonic sound scrubber. It is by, mine is by Vogue Now. All of these tools and everything that I use, you can find on my Instagram. Go ahead and hit me with a favorite right here. Hit my Instagram with a favorite. Add me on my Amazon storefront. Check it out. I will be updating. I know I get a lot of messages. I have not updated it, but I will be updating it today. I promise you that. So a lot of these uh, serums and face washes that I do use, I will be posting it on there. I will have sections for all of them, face masks, serums, um, face washes. So make sure you check that out. I am like two fave follows away from 10,000 follows on Instagram. So please, I would love to get my follows at 10,000 today. That would be an amazing Sunday gift for me. So if you could please hit my Instagram with a follow, that'd be amazing. Thank you so much. After we get in that deep pore cleanser, we are going in. We're going to keep this face mask very, very, very quick today. Okay. So we're going to go in with the Shea Moisture African Black Soap clarifying mud mask. It has tamarind extract and tea tree oil. I feel like my face needs this. It's been so hot. I've been sweating a lot and I don't know if my face is really, really getting clean. So I figured, let me do a quick little detoxifying mask. I'm also starting my cleanse today. So that is another reason why I feel like it's, it'll be good. It'll be good to kind of detox. I've been drinking a lot lately, so it's not good. 
that is the only face mask we're doing today. After that, it's nothing but uh, toner. We use my, my go-to, which is basically done, honestly. But we're gonna go, we're gonna use my go-to uh, toner. It's uh, by L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Derma Intensive Pure Glyconic Acid Peeling Toner. This toner will make you feel like a baby's bottom, okay? It's very smooth. It's very just kind of, it just gives like the sleek finish and it allows you to, um, for the serums and the, the oils that you put on after to just really be absorbed more. So I love a good toner. It's so, so amazing, honestly. And then we have, um, we're gonna finish with my serum, my go-to serums right now, which is the vitamin C and ni niacinamide. B3 anti-aging face serum. It is an intensive brightening action. I love this serum. It has really been a game changer for me. A few people have actually bought it since I've been talking about it. And I love that for, for all of us. I want us to all grow and brighten and hydrate naturally. So this is such a great uh, duo. It is the face serum and the moisturizing cream just to kind of lock it in there. So we're gonna finish up with that. And then of course you already know, I got to finish with my brightening body serum, which I use on my neck and also my face. It kind of just locks in all of that moisture. It's so, so good. You guys are going to see right at the end how it is. Yes, 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 yes. I will be, not too much on me. I had to get through that really quick. So I will be bringing my first guest in right now. Let's get this skincare regimen going. Oh, hello, hello. Hi, thank Hi, you for having yeah, I know you guys had a little bit of an emergency. Is everything okay? Yeah, the kids are just sick. They have, um, you know, common flu that's going around. So I'm in the parking lot of the hospital right now. We don't typically uh, stream here, but but I want to make sure to show ourselves and get you like. Oh my goodness! Oh, happy Sunday! I hope everything is okay. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, they're they're fine. You know, like I said, just the common flu. It's just the fever going on but I wanted to be here for you, so. Oh my goodness, oh, well, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. So tell me, Fisher School, so so you guys are a couple that stream or is it just predominantly you or? No, so we're we're a couple streaming account. We are typically here every, like whatever we stream, we're here together. And, you know, sometimes it, um, like he'll, like if I'm at work, he'll be on here by himself, just making sure to, to promote our, our new account and stuff like that, like our streaming account. But otherwise, what we do is on Fridays, we have like a fishing trivia at 10 o'clock. And then Saturdays, we do uh, what's called sizzle and serve, where I teach everybody step by step on how to cook a dish. Oh, so, nice. I love that. So, yeah. so um, fishing pools. Okay. I just want to make sure because I the name is... don't mind the name up here. We had um, somebody take our 200k, so gave them you know the three day name change and whatnot. Ooh, we love that. Congratulations on 200k. Love that for you. So tell me, what um being a mom of how many children do you have? I have four children. So two. Um, well, we have four children. I should say. Um, four. So we have a almost three year old, almost four year old. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. Wow. Wow. The, the age difference is crazy. So being a mother of four, tell me how you like to show yourself some self-care. What do you like to do to uh, uh, to raise your vibrations and, and give yourself a little love? Thank yeah. You. So um, it's a little bit difficult, you know, with having babies because, you know, I've got a mama's boy and he's always wanting to be right there by my side. But with having a such a supportive partner, it's it makes it nice to where he allows me to have some time and I can go and take like a nice bath and some Epsom salt, or um, he just like allows me to have five minutes to myself. So that's like what, like our self care. But honestly, like if if I had to choose, our I I don't get into a lot of like what you do, like the self care, like with your body and stuff. But mine more like mental health um and what we do is we go out and we go fishing and honestly it's in his the fishing pool's name we love fishing it's such a um peaceful thing you can meditate and just 
just reflect on everything. The kids can be running around playing outside and it's just, it's been, it's really nice for us to be able to do that. We don't get to do it very often, but we go, you know, on the weekends as much as possible. So, so you said a couple of things that I just kind of want to unpack. Um, mm -hmm. So you said that when you need a time away from the kids that you like to take a bath, that's like your go-to for the most part, being like a, a busy mom, it's kind of getting away in the bathroom. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Because like sometimes, like I, I'm, I don't know if everybody in here has little kids, but when you try to go to the bathroom, it's like denied. You're not going by yourself. <laughs> like you have, you have an audience. <laughs> I know. Listen, I can't tell you how many people box up or get in my guest box or, or my date box in the bathroom hiding from their kid for a few moments. So <laughs> trust me, I don't have any, but I can only imagine. Um, so what about, so you said that you like specifically Epsom salts. Is that, does that do, does that do something for you? Would you suggest? Yes. So it's lavender Epsom salt and it's just, it makes it to where like lavender is a natural thing to kind of relax yourself whenever you smell it. It makes it to where like a lot of anxiety just pours away. And that's something that I really, really love is that my lavender Epsom salt and I just, I get the, the smells and the aromas and you just get to just, oh. Relax. I love that. So would you would suggest specifically lavender, lavender Epsom salt if yes, you were trying to like calm down and unwind? Yes. If I, if I had to make a nice suggestion, it makes it, you know, like lavender is where you want to be, especially if you're going to be going to bed soon. That is something that's very calming. It's meant to help put you to sleep. It's meant to like clear your mind. So okay, okay. interesting. Yeah, I love Epsom salts. Um, my my physical therapist suggested Epsom salts like for as part of my recovery because I had um some blood clots in my legs and stuff like that. So I know that Epsom salts are like really good for like the muscles and just kind of getting in there and soaking it in there. So I love yeah. that. <clears throat> I, um, I actually found out about it after I had my first child, my son. Um, so full disclosure, like the adult kids, they're, they're my stepkids, but we claim them as mine. So when I had my first physically like giving birth to my son, that's whenever I got introduced to Epsom salt because, you know, like what you said, they said it's like um, it helps the healing process a lot faster. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Yeah, that's what I got um, from it. You guys, if you're not just... Uh, tuning in. This is me, Twix, and I have uh, fishing poles. Well, well, half of fishing poles in the box right now. This is self care Sundays, and we're just going over some self care regimens. Um, we're talking Epsom salt baths. I love. We love. I love a good bath. Period. Um, would you suggest bath bombs, or are you like definitely more of an Epsom salt girl? Honestly, I have never. Oh, yeah. Uh, all the time but i've never tried one <laughs> okay well your homework is to definitely try a bath bomb and see the difference because you may not like it i don't know i feel like sometimes those things can be really trendy you know without actual any like goodness or real substance in it but um but for someone who is uh an avid bath taker with the epsom salts you definitely want to try a little bath bomb and spice it up a little a little What about fishing is really, um, what about fishing is meditative for you? Cause I've heard this before and I've actually went fishing myself. It's definitely really calming, right? But what, what is it that makes you a fool for it? <laughs> for me, it's like, I can watch like, cause, so we live over on the ocean. So I can watch the waves come through. I can smell the salt in the air. It's just being like, and feeling like that wind and just hearing the um, the sound, yeah, the sounds of the waves and, and the birds, you know, it's just kind of being one with the nature. Like a lot of times we forget how beautiful our surroundings are. And when we're stuck inside, you know, it really heals the soul, I feel like. I love that. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot about grounding and just kind of becoming one with nature and like, you know, really like I've never thought about it, but yeah, I can only imagine like what the spirit. I know that I love the beach. It's one of my safe places. So I can only imagine what, you know, fishing does for you. So what else? What else do you like to do? Um, to raise your vibrations 
Oh my gosh. It's it hard be anything, because you know, like, honestly, you're right. Self-care is definitely more, and I've learned that too, right? Because when I used to think of self-care, I thought physical, like, oh, getting a massage or taking a bath or, you know, doing my skincare. But I've learned with the show, thankfully, that self-care is so much, it's so much more than just, you know, fit anything physical, you know, it's definitely yeah. a more mental thing. So anything that you like to I do that brings a smile to your face can be self-care. I know for my other half, um, he has a very strict workout regimen. Like he works out every single day at 12 o'clock. It makes him feel so much better. And that's sort of his time for decompressing and getting all that stress out and the, the anxiety or, you know, like maybe the frustrations and stuff like that. So that's a big part of his time is being able to do like that. Okay. But like maybe if I had to think of something else, um, like laughing you know if if I can laugh or if I can make somebody else laugh like that's you know both of us actually like my other half he's the comedian he, he really is and I really wish he could be here with us right now but um, he's the comedian and he loves making people laugh it's sort of just his personality is very quirky um, and then another thing that he does for me is like when the kids go down to bed he's big on like getting me massages and cutting my toenails painting them so, <laughs> so oh he's my god you yeah. have savannah that's a good man i did <laughs> that i got a good man right there that yes. is so cute i love that oh yeah that is so cute yeah. definitely not but honestly so there was a comment in the, and there was a question in the comments um uh you guys if you're just still tuning in this is self-care sundays with me twix i got a fishing fools half she were her part care and self-care regimens and i had a there was a question in the comments i have not heard of laughing therapy but i do know and this is also another thing that I've really learned from this app that laughing is so essential for turning your energy. Like mm -hmm. there are plenty of times that I will get trolled and, or I will get um, discouraged or, you know, whatever bothered by a comment or by somebody in a troll in the comments or anything like that. And all it takes is for one good joke or one good, you know, one of my friends to come in here and, and try to get me to laugh and it changes the entire energy of not only myself, but my stream. Right. And so I know for a fact that, um, laughing and like laughing can be a therapy because I've seen it work on myself. So I totally understand when you say like, you know, getting like laughing for you is a form of self care because I can only imagine what it's like being a mom of three and always having to be so serious and in mom mode, you know, it's really rare. So shout out to your husband for really providing that safe space for you, you know, to kind of yeah. like decompress. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Like, it's awesome. So, yeah. so what else? Is there anything else that you can tell us or what's going on with you and your stream? Honestly, whenever it comes to self care, because like I said, you know, it's hard for me to engage in it because I do work full time and then, you know, we, we stream and the full time mom. So it's, it's kind of hard for me to like think of anything else as far as that goes. But if you're like trying to catch us streaming, um, we're typically on at night when we put the babies down. So around like, around like seven o'clock Eastern time, um, we get on and we just honestly, we, we're, we're a, quirky personalities. We love making people laugh. Um, we get into <laughs> some shenanigans. Um, but if we're, you know, focused on a topic, um, that's like I said earlier on Fridays, we do like the fishing trivia and then Saturdays trying to get our show featured with sizzle and serve. So, you know, it's Ooh, a, so you're gonna feature, actually, you have a feature show loading. What kind of show is it? I mean, yes. Um, so we just did our, our run last night and it's a cooking show. So what it is, is I teach people how to make dishes that are easy and affordable within, you know, 45 minutes, because as, as a mom, you know, you're so busy and you don't have a lot of time. And you know, if you get home from work and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to make tonight? So 
I love being able to try and teach people how to cook meals and tasty meals at that. Um, and then also like if there's anybody like that has something that they've been wanting to try and cook, like we'll go through it together step by step, you know, and I'll ask them, show me what's on here. Or if I don't have a guest, I'll just show everybody what to do, how to do it, the recipe, stuff like that. Um, so the guests will be cooking, cooking. with you or? Yeah. So last night um, we had a guest and I had, she cooked side by side in the box. So she was in the box and I was, you know, walking her um, through every single step. And we made some broccoli beef with white rice last night. Oh, so, wow. Um, yeah. So she was able to follow step by step and she was like, oh my gosh, I literally hate beef, but you made me love this one. <laughs> so, oh, wow. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. Well, you guys heard, if you guys are now just tuning in, this is Self Care Sundays. I have fishing poles in the box, and she was sharing with us her Self Care Sundays, as well as what you find if you hit her with a favorite. Hit her with a favorite. She has a uh, um, a featured show loading. We love to see it. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so much for all the gifts. Thank you, you. for all the faves. We hit 10,000 faves on Instagram. Hooray, hooray. I'm super excited. Um, thank you for all the comments. I really, really appreciate you guys. And honestly, Fish and Fools, this has been amazing. Thank you so much for being here with me. I know you guys are having some issues uh, with your children. So I hope I'm going to let you go so you can go attend yes. Zach's Club. And <laughs> I hope you. you have an amazing rest of your Sunday. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for allowing us to be part of it. Have a good day. Oh, you too. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. You guys, you better hit her with a favor before she runs out of here. You heard all of that amazing self-care rituals and you see the vibes, okay? If you are just now tuning in, this is Twix. You are a part of my self-care Sunday stream. Why is there a piece of hair on my nose? Okay, it's gone. <laughs> and I am putting on a black African soap clarifying mud mask. This is what I'm doing. I've already done my first and second deep pore cleansers. So my face is extremely clean right now. We are going to apply this mask on and let this mask sit for a few minutes so we can get all that good detoxifying nutrients out of it. I love this mask. I live by one of these. These are one of my favorite masks. As you can see, the mask is almost done. It is so amazing. It really, really works. It tightens the pores. Ah! It tightens the pores, it clear, it cleans, it cleanses, and it detoxifies. So you already know the vibes. I know it's getting everywhere. It is getting everywhere. It's, it's okay because masks can definitely wash out with just a little bit of water. So no worries at all. Plus, a lot of these masks are really, really good for you to use on your hair as well, as well as your scalp. I will be bringing in my second guest of the day. I'm super duper excited to have her on the show. You guys, please welcome Big Butter, not the little one, to the box. Hello. I can't hear you. That's Hello? crazy. Oh, there we go. Hello. Happy Sunday, Butter. Hello, the foot. How you doing? Oh, I'm amazing. How are you? I'm just eating my chips. Yeah, I was talking about some self-care shit and like, um, I probably should do better, but like my self-care is waking up and eating these ruffles right here because it make me happy. You know what I mean? All right, so this is a recorded show, so there's no cursing. <laughs> yeah. What about like? No, none. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start again. <laughs> Happy, yeah, this is tantric. I got a mask, a mud mask on my, on my face. Not too much on me. Welcome to Self Care Sundays. I am your host, Twix. I have Big Butt, another little one, in the box right now. We're talking all things self care. So we're gonna start again. Happy Sunday, Butter. How are you Happy doing? Happy Sunday, Sugarfoot. Happy Sunday to you. How What's you doing? going on? So let's mm -hmm. jump right into it. You already know the vibes, okay? Um, what do you like to do? Uh, to like, what do you like to do to raise your vibration to show yourself a little bit of love? Whether it's once a week, once a month, as often as you can. Every day, I listen to music. Listen Every to day, music. like I feel like music. It like it could put you in the vibe that you want to be in, right? Like music is my thing. Like if I'm feeling sad, I might listen to something sad real quick so I could just let a tear drop. You know what I mean? Just one, not too much. Um, you know what I mean? Like, but other than that, like I like to brush my teeth because the shit I don't like gritty. You know what I mean? Like when I get my iced coffee. Like that, oh. 
Okay. So no, 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 no. I, I listen. I learned. I've learned so much about different forms of self care. So I always like to unpack when I hear something. Um. So I oh, love yeah. the fact that you're really, really into music. Uh. Yeah. We're gonna get to it. Don't worry. <laughs> we're gonna get to it. So I love the fact that you're really, really into music. When you say that you, when you're sad, you like to listen to sad music and cry. What does that do for you exactly? Crying is cleansing for the soul. Like you gotta let that go. You know what I mean? You hold on to that. You carry that with you. That's heavy energy. You gotta be able to let that go. I only want that light energy. You know what I mean? It's easier to move around with that light energy. So when you're feeling heavy, you feel like a good cry is necessary. It it helps. Sometimes it just be like that. Mm. It don't even it don't even be something that's planned. That it'll just smack you, like come out of nowhere and smack you real quick because such is life. Like you gotta be humble sometimes and life got a way of humbling you, you know what I mean? So like, that's cleansing for the soul. It doesn't happen very often. I'm not a big crier, but like when it does happen, it's good, it's good. That's, it's, so that's, when, the, that's when the magic happens, honestly, you know what I mean? That's when the magic happens, when you're ready to be vulnerable and like release. I love that. I love that. Honestly, I think that, you know, a lot of times people make fun of the show and they like to clown and stuff like that, but forget that we're all going through it, right? We're all going through it. There's some days you wake up and it's just like, wham, you know? And a lot of times people will sit with that energy, like you said, and the, and then, or they'll, they'll radiate that energy and transfer that negativity to other people that have no, <laughs> there's no reason for them to do that instead of learning how to deal and solve and remove said energy from their life. So I love when people come in here talking about how to rid themselves of ne negative energy because it's such an important trait to learn as an adult. I think that one of the biggest adulting lessons I've learned is that you don't have to stay angry, right? When we're kids and we catch an attitude, it's like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have an attitude for the rest of the day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when you're an at when you're an adult, you don't need to be angry. If you're angry, it's because you're choosing to be. You know what I'm saying? Because there are plenty of ways. Hi, no cap. There are plenty of ways to be able to lift yourself out of the doldrums, um, especially if you learn what works for you. I tell my kids all the time. There's like you're gonna have bad moments, but that don't mean it gotta turn into a bad day. Like exactly. Let that, let that go respectfully. Like let that go. Inhale it. Out. Exhale that. You know what I'm saying? Because we got we can't we got we gotta watch our mouths and stuff. Yeah. But like, woosa <laughs> out. You know what I mean? Because like the other day I had to tell my kids like, why y'all so upset? You late on the mortgage, like they about to come repo your car. Right. Like, what is you upset about? I, I wish I had a eleven year old problem. My parents used to say the same thing to me, and, the, and having become an adult, when the first is coming, you want to cry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to. There's so many things now as an adult that just be like, dang. Like, uh, can we go back to the day? Uh, My summer break. I'm like, adults don't get summer break, yurt. <laughs> it's Saturday, it's Sunday. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> <don't know> <laughs> right. It's and Saturday, then, it's Sunday. We don't get no summer break, no spring break, no nothing, no break. And then you know, it's so funny because. It's, it's like, <clears throat> it's one of those things, right? Cause even me as a streamer, the one thing I've realized is when my mood shifts, it affects everything. Like you said, everything I saw something, everything around you, everything, everything, everything. And I'm a Pisces, so I feel it. And if I feel it, I, I, I exert it. And yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. So I think that it's really important that people understand how important it is to be able to shake off negative energy it's not a joke, right? We can sit here and laugh and joke around, but it's really not a joke, especially as we get, you know, through to get through life, you need to learn how to shake certain things off. And some people don't know how to do that. So um, I think like, I love that, you know, listening to music, having a nice little cry is definitely something that you found works for you to get you out of, you know, your sad moments. Um, you know what so, huh? You know what I've started doing recently? What? So recently I was talking to my spiritual advisor and she was like, yo, protect your, your, your crown chakra. Mm -hmm. So I had to do some research in that and it's like, yo, you're not getting a lot of sleep. So what I started doing was, you know, them YouTube videos, it's like, um, law of attraction, manifestation, like sleep music type stuff, but it's not even music. It's like, they telling us, story, yo. I've been in my manifesting, really, like real, 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 like manifesting, like so much so, like ask my sis Angie, so much so we talk about something and then boom, it happens. 
Like, but y'all gotta be careful with that because once you get in that, you better be careful what you ask for. And you be you better be like that's why I always tell people that like words are spellings. I try to I'm definitely need to work on it more, but I definitely try to work on what I say, how I say it, what I want, what I deserve, right? Who I am, things like that. Like those those type of statements matter, you know. And the more you say them, the more they, they become true. <laughs> it's just what it is. That's why you have to watch what you say. Because you can you if you, once you say it, like they like the new kids are saying, you gotta stand on business because it's gonna come. Yeah, it's gonna come up. So that's awesome. I love that. Um so what kind of music is so it's frequency music or it's affirmation music? It's like um Hold on, I'm gonna show you right now. It's not even music, it's like a story. It's telling you to release, like you're manifesting while you're sleeping because on some real shit. Oh, it's okay. Just, we're, going, we're going to bounce okay. over it. So, anyway, um, <laughs> but on, on the real, like it's like so your subconscious is always listening, right? So, manifesting while you sleep is a good way to keep your, your, your joint busy while you sleep, right? You know what I mean? But it gets you in alignment. For when you wake up. So when you wake up and you start your day, like like I tell so my tell kids. Me, so tell me, so tell me. How has, what differences have you seen or noticed? Because you saying that you weren't really sleeping before for real and you protecting your head chakra. So in the, how long have you been doing it? And what difference, have, what differences have you seen in the last uh, few days since you have been doing it? So I'm still not getting as much sleep as I would like because I got a lot of things going on, a lot of things I want to accomplish, but it's definitely helped me like relax mm -hmm. and get there when I lay down, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's different. Like, it's just different. I feel, I feel a lot less heavy when I wake up, I'm ready to go type, you know what I mean? Like, and just, I'm ready to conquer the day. Like, can't nobody get in my way. I love that. Like, I have nothing. Whatever I want to do, whatever I wake up to set out and do that day, I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it real well. And you're going to be like, look at her go. I Take love it. that. That's awesome. Honestly, I think that even if you aren't getting a lot of sleep, getting restful sleep and, and restorative sleep is so, 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 so important. However you can get that restoration, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Because honestly, yeah, you do. You wake up with so much energy in the morning you like so i don't know how much more sleep you need because i'm scared if you get all the sleep you, you're supposed to get what that looks like you, you be doing a lot off the little that you got so mm -hmm. we love to see it so okay we've talked sleep we've talked music what else do you like to do to show yourself a little bit of self-care um i definitely like to get my nails and my toes done you already know me like, already that, know that's vibe. high up on there like we could be in the middle of a pandemic i don't care but these right here will be done. You heard? Check okay, me out. Okay, well, Check let's see. Yeah. We'll see what they looking like right now. Okay, you see the vibes. And I, one thing I will say is Butter is her own nail artiste. Okay, if you need any kind of art, uh, nail inspo, go to Butter. Hit her with a fave. Hit her Instagram with a fave. She keep them claws done. Okay, you heard? Yeah, big Butter, not the little one. Okay? Oh, wow. <laughs> um. So... <laughs> the nails in the so toe. what about getting your nails done is um you guys if you're just still tuning in i'm sorry i be getting caught up in these conversations i forget to do my spiel if you're just not coming in this is self-care sundays with me twix i got i am currently wiping off my african mud mask off of my face it is a detoxifying clarifying mask so i'm washing it off it dried it didn't drive all the way up but it definitely dried on my face so now it gets to be removed. Um, what's going on? Um, so we have, um, and I also have butter in the box. We're talking self care. She told us how music kind of restores and amplifies her the way it's supposed to. It helps her get rid of all the negative emotions that she's harboring in the moment. Uh, we talked about getting your crown chakra back. You know what I'm saying? Corrected and straightened. You know what I'm saying? You got to get enough sleep. Um, get into that frequency music. I love frequency music personally. Um, I love sound bathing. Anyone that knows me knows I am a huge into sound bathing and just kind of resetting those frequencies the way they need to be done. Restoring your chakras is very, very important as you get older um, and get more into the holistic realm. Um, so what else? What else do you like to do to I like to, I like to stay in tune with the spirits. 
I have a spiritual advisor. I talk to a medium. I do stuff like that. Like I'm really in tune with, with, with the energy that's around me. You know what I mean? Like, that's just my thing. Like, as long as I stay in tune with what's going on, like I'm going to be 10 toes all the time. But what I really like to do is take care of my lips. Okay. Now, I mean, check this out right here. A lip mask. Okay, so how often do you wear lip masks? Every time a fine brother come in my stream and start licking his lips, I remind myself to moisturize. So the lip mask is um, something you use like a balm? Yep, just like that. Okay, so I've never heard of people using lip masks as, as bombs. Do you feel like that's oversaturating your lips? Have you gotten anything? Like, what are, what, what are your, what have you known since you've been using, how long have you been using a lip, lip mask as a lip balm? Uh, about a week or two. And what are, has there been any kind of effects that you felt? Yeah, they real smooth and buttery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> real soft <laughs> and buttery okay well you know everything uh what did what did someone say um everything tastes good with butter you know what i mean like what are y'all doing y'all don't have no That's butter what they said earlier they said everything tastes good with a little butter you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so we love we love to see i love that you're getting your lip game up there i'm not gonna hold you carmax was the love of my life for about 20 years and then i realized that it was kind of like crack cocaine and the fact that if you didn't use carmax you felt like yo you had had a little bit of crack cocaine because the lips would get so ashy and so dehydrated yes i don't know if you guys have ever do you guys use carmax if you stop using carmax it's almost like you're it's like your your lips start to get un, unusually chappy. They got an unusually like just ashy for whatever reason until you put the Carmex on again. And it's like, it's so like, you know, overly stimulating. And this feels so good. I had to break away from that. So I've actually been using um, uh, Carmax, Carmax. Car you guys don't know what Carmax is? I know what Carmax is. But you know why I keep it moisturized? Carmax. I'm manifesting somebody to come over here and like, I'm Okay, this is, this is getting video. Yeah, okay, thanks. Uh, <laughs> please. <laughs> manifesting stuff, you know what I'm saying? They better need a man. Listen, at the end of the day, okay. whatever keeps you going and keeps you focused on, on the goal, that's all that matters. I'm not, I'm not hating, nor am I, uh, you know, I'm I'm probably need to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I probably need to go ahead and keep these lips moisturized. They like to tell me that my lips are always dry. But um, so what is the name and brand of the lip moist lip lip mask that you use? So this is I just found out Bath and Body Works got this because this is where I got it from. My daughter wanted like she got a scrub, and she got the the mask. Oh, I love that your daughter's into skincare too. I re I remember you were telling me that. Next time when I have you on the show, I'm gonna have her in the background telling me about her products because yeah <laughs> it's giving you still your daughter's products it's crazy no nah, see i had to get her on because she always stealing my stuff I'm like, <laughs> you're gonna use it put it back where you found it <laughs> i All love right. that i love that um, you know, about about that that tuning, in, tuning in this is self-care sundays with me twix i have butter in the box we're talking self-care we're talking music we're talking high vibrations i love everything you've shared with us today um, but is there anything else you would like to share? Yeah, y'all was talking about taking baths and stuff. I do the shower fizzers. I'm not really what's a bath what's taker. A shower, what's a shower fizzer? So it's like a bath bomb, but it's for the shower. So like you put it by the thing. Okay. And it gives like an aroma. Oh, nice. It's a shower fizzer. For people okay, so it's like, it's like for your night showers? Night, daytime, whatever. You know what I mean? Lavender is good for you, so... You just put that thing in the corner, forget about it. Nice. What is? What are the effects? What do you feel before and how do you feel after? It's like refreshing, like okay. a restart, like a recenter, like a refocus. Why don't you take baths? Is it just because you are? Well, if I got to take a bath, I got to take a shower right after that because it's just like you sitting in your water. That's crazy type stuff. You know what I mean? But that's each its own or whatever. 
I mean, I think a, a nice little quick rinse, just to rinse off, you know, the, the, the bath water is okay. But I've never understood why people feel dirty sitting because in the bath. You're sitting in it. I want to rinse mean, it off. Listen, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We've sat in a lot worse. So, Jeez. um, oh, that grime heard you. Listen, to each their own. And that's why we gather here each and every Sunday to talk about it. You know, everyone has their way of doing things. And I love that for y'all. Um, if you're not just tuning in, hit Butter with a favorite. Hit me with a favorite now that you're here. And add me on Instagram, you guys. We hit 10,000 follows on Instagram. Hooray, hooray, hooray. So, Butter, now that you have us here, what you got going on in your stream, girl? We gonna hit you with a favorite. What you got going on? I see you know, battling your name. Yeah, so we got a little something, something going on. We got a little battle royale, you know, our first one as baby streamers on August 1st. You know what I mean? Pull up, pop out like a pimple if you feel like it. Um, And in the stream, we be chilling. Like, I be trying to tell them, like, you know, we just chilling. It'd be like, for the love of butter type stuff. But it's just like, we just be chilling. I, I want to. For the love of butter? What's the yeah, love of butter? Huh? What's the love of butter? I don't know. But I be just oh. trying to tell them, like, chill. Oh, they be trying to get your love. They be trying yeah, to and I just be like, yo, just chill. He be trying chilling. to take you off these streets, baby. Okay. But okay, well, I maybe we're gonna come over there and play our for the love of butter, our own game. <laughs> Anyways, it's big NYA loading butter for you. Get into it. <laughs> Um, you guys, if you are just now getting here, please hit Butter with a favorite. Hit me with a favorite. Butter, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your self-care, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your Sunday. Thank you so much. Have a great day, my love. Bye, you guys. Thank you so much. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Shout out to another amazing self-care Sundays. I am pretty much done with my face. We're gonna get into the rest of these serums really quickly. Um, I'm going to be finishing off with my vitamin C and niacinamide anti-aging face serum. This serum is so amazing. It has truly like been a game changer for me because honestly, I don't know. Oh, also I found out when you're putting the serums on your face, make sure to not touch the dropper to your skin. <laughs> That was crazy. Make sure not to drop the <laughs> put the dropper on your skin. Make sure because apparently it changes the the cohesiveness of the serum in the bottle. If it's strong, don't do that. <laughs> Definitely don't do it like that. <laughs> not too much on me. Um, also. I like to rub in my serums with my Jade Roller. This thing is amazing. You already know what comes after this. Yes, you already know. It's the Gua Sha. Okay, get into it. Um, if you guys are just now coming in, it's Self Care Sundays. We are about to wrap up another amazing Self Care Sunday. Shout out to my amazing guests, um, uh, Fishing Fools and Big Butter, not the little one, for coming in and sharing their Self Care Sundays with me today. It was amazing per usual. Shout out to everybody in the chat, in the comments. Again, if you would like to be a guest on the show, please hit me up. Hit Stevie Johnson, hit Jazzy Got Options with a, with a comment or a DM on Instagram. We would love to have you on the show. Um, yes, the show is going to be featured. I know, I know I've been saying that for like six months now, but it will be featured, I promise. So stay tuned for that. I'm super excited as well as what's coming up soon. Um, if you guys are wondering, my <clears throat> my website is down, but don't worry, it will be back up soon. Um, that is tantriclova.com. We, so we are gonna be re reloading that very shortly. Yes, we love a good relaxed Sunday. We love a good self-care Sundays, you guys. If you do not take care of yourselves, who will? Make sure that you spend time and you focus on taking care of yourselves because it's very important. Your mindset, your health, your uh, skin, your hair, any of these things can be uh, self-care. And every, every one of these things are important for you to really raise your vibrations and have a good day and a good life. Uh, it's really important, guys. I know we talk a lot of mess on this app, but the show is, re uh, is, there's a reason why I do this show every Sunday, just to kind of remind us that we're all human and we're all going through things. 
and sometimes a nice safe place to learn how to just be a better human it's important and I'm so thankful to every single one of you guys that like to come in every single Sunday and really support me as well as the other people in the show. Shout out to everybody who came in. Shout out to all the guests. Shout out to all the comments. Shout out to the top three gifters of the stream. Let me call them out right now. Calico, Big Butter, and Sweet Voice AJ. Thank you guys so much for the love. I will see you again next week. And until then, make sure that you love yourself, guys. I'll be back later. We'll finish the contouring. Oh, yes. Before I end the show, make sure that you get a jade roller, specifically jade, and a gua sha. This is so amazing. You guys already know I love these, both of these tools. Typically, they can come as a set. They are on my Amazon storefront. So hit me with a favorite. Hit my Instagram with a fave. And then hit that with... Uh, hit my Amazon storefront with a fave and you can find a lot of these products and tools on there. If you want to be a guest, hit me up. Until then, I'll see you next Sunday. Bye, guys.